the crowd already in a frenzy, and you would be too if you're this close to an all-out gunfight that turns into something out of, out of MMA. This usually is classified. You never get to see specially trained law enforcers showing their firearms and technical skills. Think it can't get any more intense than this? <laughs> Think again. Tonight you are in for a treat. We have several heart-pounding, full-contact gunfights. Gunfights in this closed-off arena full of smoke, noise, music. And when your ammo is spent, it's on big time. This is combat. This is close quarter combat. This is an opportunity that people have never had. And it's awesome to watch. I told you this is no ordinary gunfight here, lock and load. We are taking this one to a high level. All of that, as the, as the shells go flying, these guys are ex-SWAT, which means no body armor, no helmets. They fight it out if they lose ammunition, and they even take a shot and feel it all that while dodging landmines. Yeah, even mines hidden in the sand, as these two former SWAT sharpshooters now target each other. Blasting at will. Running for cover. Leaping over barrels. It's force on force, and you're fighting a, a top-notch caliber guy that's trying to win and trying to put rounds on you, and he's trying to hurt you. He's you trying... got smoke in the air here, yeah. people yelling and screaming. Yep, it's definitely a distraction, but you just got to do your best to block that out and pay attention and keep focused on the task at hand. Run and gun, man. Run and gun, baby. And when the ammo's gone, it's hand to hand. Watch the takedown. Look again, here's what it's like if you're the one being slammed to the sand. Get on top of your opponent. That's what I did. So, I could great fight. You, you're breathing. Your heart's pumping like crazy, man. Yeah, adrenaline's going. You're moving. The sand is not easy to move in. Is that this one? And not easy to hide where you've been hit. Check this. Those red welts, direct hits from the non-lethal rounds. It's kind of one of those, like, a quick pain. It doesn't last or linger as long as the beast thing does. When you get hit, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you flinch and mm -hmm. start looking for better cover, mm -hmm. knowing you're taking rounds. So, not fun. <laughs> And the gunfights go on and on. This one, a two-on-two -two shootout that turns into an all-out brawl, a free-for-all, total chaos, kicking an opponent in the face, using the butt of the gun to fight back, a body slam. No wonder they're going crazy. This is what they came to see. You'd expect to see these macho guys here yelling, but look, women in the crowd, what in the world would bring out the wild side of these otherwise quiet ladies. It's great seeing two big guys getting out there beating each other up, trying to de disarm each other. It's very exciting, but at the same time, it's very nerve-wracking for me. But it's an awesome experience to watch. You also actually get to learn some of the training techniques just through watching through the glass. Oh, my husband's a Marine, and so he's kind of brought that out in me. That's so, a good point, so it kind of yeah. gives you an idea what your husband has said. To right. It gives me a little bit of everything he's experienced. And maybe just as exciting from this side of the glass, watching it through the gun sights of the fighters. Aiming, ducking, squeezing off rounds, feeling the intensity of being targeted, and then the non-lethal kill. Just the chaos of the event. It's uh, as real as you could possibly get without live ammunition. Just running and gunning. The adrenaline. The machine gun goes off. Go, baby. In Las Vegas, Nev, Atlascos, Box 11 News.